Hey everyone, how's it going? Grizzly Bear here today with another Team Fortress 2 live commentary, something that I've not done in a while but I've been meaning to do. Today playing as the Scout with the Baby Faces Blaster, a weapon that I've not used since my last video on it, and it's been updated big time, and I haven't even had the chance to use it yet, so I'm gonna just try and get in here and hit this guy with this stupid frying pan because I cannot hit shots with the Baby Faces Blaster. Oh. Yep. <laughs> so, as you can see right there, the four shots on the baby face of blaster, a big downside for a guy like me, especially when I can't hit my shots with this thing. For some reason, I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because I'm doing a live commentary. Maybe it's because, you know, once you get that speed boost, you're going pretty fast. So, pretty tough. I actually think the last time I used this map, I actually played on King of the Hill Badlands, which isn't a map that, you know, I play very often. But I'm also using the Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol. As my secondary, I'm just going to run away from this guy because I can't hit any shots. But that is the great thing about the Baby Faces Blaster, you know. You don't have to hit all your shots because you can just run away with the speed boost. Is this blue guy? Did I kill him? Teammate did, but that's fine. I'll take credit. Alright, now hitting a little bit of shots here. And we're up to the full speed boost. Going to run in here, try and get this cap. Ah, oh, there's a stupid sentry on the point over there. Teammate's gonna have to take that out for me, and I'm just gonna try and weasel in the side cap here, use these crates for some cover. Get out of here, scout. Get down there and- okay, is it gone? Nice job, spy, coming in clutch. But, with this weapon, what I kinda have to do is just not even try to flick towards them, I just kinda have to run in their direction and strafe over them with the uh, A and D keys, you know? And then just kind of shoot when it lines up. That was a nice little crit. And fell off, unfortunately. Gonna Let's get in here. Let's get these guys. Let's go in with the pan on this dude. Alright. Doing decent in this gameplay. Let's go and get this guy when he's coming up here. Oh, oh, oh. Backstabbed and flamed by a pyro. But I'm also using the Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol. I don't know if I mentioned that. I think I did. But that gives you more vulnerability to flames, like it's like 15% or something, instead of doing 3 damage per second, it'll do 4, the afterburn will, but, I mean, that's also vulnerability just in general, I'll just leave those two scouts to get that guy. But it also gives you 15 extra health, so, that's a pretty big deal, I'm gonna die, yep, I'm dead. I knew I was in trouble as soon as he got that first shot off on me. But another thing I'd like to mention before I forget, the 72 hour mapping contest hosted over at Team Fortress 2 Maps or TF2Maps.net is starting this weekend. It starts on Friday at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time and it'll run for 40, not 48, 72 hours. So that's a great time if you are new to mapping to try it out. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of maps being tested. For the contest and things like that so i encourage you guys to head over there and check that out they've also announced their new major mapping contest the 10th one they've ever put on which is crazy and it's similar to the valve art pass contest and i don't have my mad milk that i usually do to get that spy but it's similar to the art pass contest they put on valve put on not so long ago where gosh dang it i should have spy checked that guy <laughs> But it's similar to the Art Pass contest that Valve put on a few years ago. The There are two parts of the contest. The first part, you design your map without any textures, any detailing, anything like that. Just the basic, the very basic layout. Even more basic than that uh, alpha map that I showed in my custom maps video. Even more basic than that. And then the second half of the contest is you pick somebody's map and then you add the details to it. And you can also detail your own map, but I feel like that kind of takes a little bit of the fun out of it. I feel like it'd be more fun if you create a map and then you detail somebody else's, but I feel like if you're new to mapping, this is a great contest to be getting in on. Because if you don't think you are able to detail a map, you can just do the first step. If you don't think that you will be able to create the layout, you can just do the detailing half. So I think it's really a good contest to start on if you're new to mapping. And we just lost that round. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, man. Alright, so one more game here, and then I think we're gonna end this video. 
And let's see if we can actually win this one. I didn't do too hot that last game. We're going to try and take this flank underneath the bridge. You just feel so slow without the boost or anything. Okay, now we got the full boost. A couple of quick little shots on those guys right there. A couple of guys are running right through there, I thought. I don't really want to chase them down. Let's get this guy before he gets this stupid sentry up. Thank you, teammate, for taking him out. And, oh, man, oh, oh, gosh, get up, get me out of here. See, that's, that's what's nice about the baby faces blaster. I can't really get in there and take this stupid pyre down because I don't have mad milk, you know? I don't have what I need to deal with that because I also have the increased vulnerability to flames with the Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol, so. In competitive, Team Fortress 2... The Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol is really just a straight upgrade because a lot of people do not play Pyro. Especially in Sixes, you'll see it in Highlander, but you don't really have to worry about it, you know. So it's really just a straight upgrade, but... <laughs> right now, it is definitely presenting a problem as we're trying to cap this point. Let's revert this capture. I mean, this Pyro, we got this... Okay, maybe not, because the stupid spy... Gosh, man, those spies, they are just... Wreaking havoc. Get out of here, scout. Alright. There, I knew the spy was gonna be there. Somebody kill that guy, because I definitely can't hit anything with this weapon. I would see, normally, I might try and go in there on that heavy and just... God! <laughs> Luckily, that dude missed his backstab on me. But normally, I'd go in and I'd try to, you know, strafe around the heavy, do some fancy little footwork or something, but... I just, uh, don't get hit by that pyro. Oh, they're, see, they're just everywhere. I mean, there's another one right there. I gotta get, I gotta run. You can't do anything against them with this weapon, but you can run. That's the, that's what's nice about it. You've got that speed boost. Critical hit, that's what I'm talking about. 90 damage on that guy. I really do prefer playing with crits off, but when they work out in my favor, I don't really complain. And now I'm on fire again. I'm just going to run back to the resupply. <laughs> you guys probably hate seeing me run back to the resupply all these times. It's like half the commentary has been me running back to the resupply. But, you know, I just don't really want to die to a dang pyro. Oh, I'm on fire again. There's another one. They're everywhere. Let's see if I can run in here. Get this out. Took out the sentry. That's, that's a plus. Is there another? All right. Okay, let's see if we can just sneakily get this. I know there's a heavy over it. I know there's a hat. Another pyro! I mean, they're just everywhere! Man, I did not pick the right game to be trying out the Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol. Maybe I ought to switch off of it, but... You know, we're already committed. We're already already halfway through the video. We're gonna... Oh my goodness, a lot of guys on the point. Taking that guy out. Nice headshot. Let's see you even try to hit me, Scout. I'm moving so fast, you don't even know what's going on. There's that spy. I'm going to take out the spy for the team. Maybe not. Something must have happened to him. I should have just stayed and got the cap. Okay. All right. We're getting a couple kills here. Getting used to the speed boost. Kill that spy. Somebody kill that dude. No, I'll just come down here and get that. I won't. Okay, there he is. I saw him. He's dead. I'm going to kill this guy. All right, nice work, teammates. <laughs> Five damage on that heavy. Don't, don't you dare! Don't you dare chase me, though. I, I want you to chase me. As long as you stay away from the pyros, you know it's not a problem. Gosh dang, it's another pyro. As long as you keep your distance, they're not up. Not uh, yep. <laughs> I thought maybe I could get to that health and get out of there, but definitely did not. As long as you keep your distance, bushwaka. As long as you keep your distance, you know, pyros aren't really a problem. So the, what is it, 25% vulnerability, whatever it is with the Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol, it's really not that big of a deal. It shouldn't be. Nah, Spy, you're not. Not killing anybody else. It shouldn't be that big of a deal because you can just outrun the pyros. Especially when you got the boost. From the baby faces blaster. Cap that point. But it's just something I've always struggled with, I guess, so. Is that sentry still up? Spy run in there, make yourself useful. Sap that sentry. Alright, let's see if we can take out the scout. He's 
pretty weak. He's probably gonna die from that afterburn. Oh, forgot the sentry was there. I thought the spy was gonna run in there, you know, make himself useful, but I guess not. Gotta hold this point for another minute and ten seconds. We can do this. Nice shot, Dr. Ubermischk. But, uh, let's see, let's see here. I don't know if I should switch off the Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol or not. We're not going to. Like I said previously, we've made our choice, and we're gonna stick with it. Get around this corner. Taking the lead. Stupid pyros. Uh, we got more pyros. We got a sp I'm not running in there. That's... Yep, I shouldn't have... Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but see, if I had the six shots, I think I could have landed two more good ones. I got that one on him for about 100 damage. And I think I could have got another shot off on him, but... Whatever. Didn't happen. So I'm not going to pretend that it would have. But it, but it really would have, guys. Right, guys. It would have. But we've got 15 more seconds. Gotta hold this thing for 15 more seconds. They've got a mini sentry down there. Hate mini sentries. I mean, look at that. One shot, and I've already got the full speed. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Gosh. Alright. What the heck? I thought I saw something jump over me. Alright. Okay. Oh! Great, they've got... They've got a sentry up and everything. Come on, chase me, Scout. I dare you. You're dead. You're dead. I missed that. That would have been a meat shot. He would have been done. They've got a dang sentry up there. What am I supposed to do about the sentry? I can't do anything against it unless I sneak up behind it here do a couple little I totally oh come on how close was that I? I don't even think I hit it <laughs> I might do a demo here really quick because I do not want to lose this match I've got 10 seconds to get to the point let's go come on come on you can do this Dylan Alright, come on. No, don't, don't, don't you... No! Oh my gosh, we lost again. Whatever. <laughs> Hopefully, that was an entertaining live commentary for you guys. Like I said earlier, I've been meaning to do more of these, so... Hopefully, it'll become a little bit of a routine. Hopefully, I can get one a week out for you guys, but... Until then, I think, you know, this video is over. So, sorry I couldn't win one for the home team. Maybe I'll try again later. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys all later. So have a good one, guys. Bye.